Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm JD. Um, I'm just about to jump in and get started on a big project here. We've got to build some side racks here for this truck that we just bought. Um, we're pretty excited about the truck. It's the newest one we've ever had and uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it just didn't come with any racks so we've got to build those now. Um, what we're going to use the truck for is to haul our produce, our beans and our corn and our squash to the cannery. And so for that we'll need to build a tailgate in the back that lifts up when you dump and then the product slides out. And we'll also use it to haul um, wheat and our grass seed also. So it'll have to be pretty tight because that stuff's pretty small and if there's any kind of crack or anything it can slide out. Um, but it's uh, going to be a big project. I haven't quite figured out how much I'm going to show of it yet. Um, it's it's going to be kind of just a lot of little tedious work and probably not too exciting or anything so I thought I'd maybe just show a couple of the highlights maybe at the end of the day give a rundown of what I completed um, but true to our form we uh, are pushing the deadline a little bit we're gonna use this truck hopefully in a couple weeks we already have some grass cut and um, so in another week here we'll start combining and we're hoping to use this truck by then um, so under the deadline a little bit and uh, Probably put some long hours in getting this thing finished up, but I think it's doable. Just have to uh, keep working at it. So I'm gonna run into town now and pick up some metal, and then um, just jump right in. See how much I can get done. So I didn't make a ton of progress today, but I made a little bit. I picked up the metal I needed, and uh, I got a bunch of the posts cut right here. I started sticking them in the slots. What I'm doing is welding on a tab down here, so the top of the post will be at the right height. This is my stack of metal right here. Um, so I think what I'm going to work on tomorrow is cutting the rest, or sticking the rest of these in there, welding the rest of the tabs on, and hopefully get the top rail in, across the top up there. Whew. I think I'll make a lot more progress tomorrow. Keep my fingers crossed for that at least. The truck doesn't quite fit in the shop. Had to leave his nose sticking out. Made a little more progress today. I uh, didn't have the whole day to work on it. I only had this afternoon, maybe four or five hours, but got the rest of the uprights cut. The tabs on the bottom welded on, they're all stuck in the slots. And uh, got this back one done. So the back one has this piece that comes over. Another one that goes up. Got both the sew sides done. And then I got the two top rails welded together. They're 26 foot long, so it had to be two pieces. <clears throat> but uh made some decent progress I think. So I think tomorrow I'll have a little more time to work on it than I did today. Just sweating my butt off in the shop. It was like in the upper 90s today, pretty close to 100. And there's no wind flow or anything through the shop, so it's just cooking out here welding. But um, trying to drink a bunch of water and stay hydrated. Feels pretty good sweating, kind of actually. Go home, feel like you really accomplished something. I think I'll uh, 
work on getting the top rails welded in place and all the uprights perpendicular and, and uh, welded to the top rail. But uh, I'll check back in then. Another day down, but I made a little more progress. So today I got the top rails all done. This side on the right over here, I did on my own. It was actually really hard trying to juggle, holding the square here to keep these upright, and then trying to get them lined up where they need to be up top and welded. I was doing like five things at once. It took a long time. But then for the left side, I enlisted the help of Daniel, another guy that works on our farm for us. And uh, it worked out a lot, lot better, a lot easier having two people. So this side went a lot faster. And then jump up there. I also got one of the locks done up here in the front. Just finished it up. Got a little more finishing to do on it, but that's gonna work. So this piece right here is welded to the top and it slips in 
and then this piece is welded to the head here. And uh, it locks it all in place, keeps the sides from bowing out. So I think tomorrow might be ready to put on a little sheet metal. We'll see. Another hot day, I'm beat, but uh, pretty happy with the progress. So uh, I'll see you again tomorrow.
finishing out another day here on the farm and uh, made a little more progress on the truck racks. I started in on the sheet metal today and um, I also finished the second bracket up here to match the other side. There's that one. Take you to the outside here. One thing I wanted to do on this project that I haven't done on other projects in the past that were similar to it was lay out my welds. Um, I thought it might add just a little another level of finish to it. And so I came through and measured off two inches every foot. And then I came back in and tacked the top and the bottom just to make sure I didn't lose my mark. And then lastly came through and welded it solid. It takes a lot of time to weld these. A lot of little beads. But I think it's coming along pretty good. And I also had to get a little resourceful since I was working on this alone. Um, where the metal isn't up against the, the posts, I had to find a way to pull it out. And I used, uh, I can't remember where I put it now. One sec. I used a radi radiator clamp here, a big one, and then I could slide it under. And then I was able to pull out on it and then tack it with my, my other hand. And that worked pretty good. And I kind of found out that as long as I have the bottom pulled out and the top pulled out, the middle is usually up against the post. I don't have to worry about that too much. Um, so, I only got to work on it for maybe five hours today. I spent all morning cutting our peas that were ready, so that took priority. I had to get out there and cut them. Um, but I'm thinking tomorrow, i keep working on the sheet metal. I've got to figure out, I got one more cross beam to put in here, and that holds the bolt for the tailgate to pivot on. I've got to figure out where that needs to go and get that welded before I put the sheet metal on this side. But then, other than that, I'm just going to keep working on sheet metal, keep coming back. And then, uh, I think once I get that done, I'll work on building the tailgate. I kind of think I'll build the tailgate on my table, have a flat surface to build it, and then lift it up in a place once I get it done. But uh, that's the plan anyway. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Another long day in the shop is coming to a close and uh, made a little more progress. I finished the sheet metal work, got it all boxed in. Glad that's done. That was a lot of welding. I got this piece in here with the hole for the pivot for the tailgate. But that turned out decent. Um, I still have a little bit of welding to do on the inside. But not too much. Maybe another hour or so on the whole thing. But I uh, thought I'd start on the tailgate a little bit tonight. Cut out the, the box for it at least. So uh, I'll start off by cutting some 45s and then I think I'll just build it on my table here. Probably use the TIG welder. See if I can't get a little bit done tonight.
All right, I got all my pieces cut. All the cuts cleaned up. Used the angle grinder to cut off the rough edges. So now I think I'll uh, do one corner at a time. Clamp it into place it, make sure I get it square. And then uh, run the TIG welder around it. I usually use the edge of the table as a rough reference for my square. Try to get it lined up with the side a little bit and then throw my actual square in the middle to see how close it is. See if I need to adjust it. Okay, just gotta repeat that with the other side now.
I have no idea if this will, will work, but I'm gonna try sticking a lens cover over the camera off an old welding helmet. See if you can see the weld at all. See what happens. Far from the best TIG welder, but that looks decent. Okay, I'm gonna get the other one back up here and probably get that corner down there squared up and clamped down. I forgot I had to grind the uh, bead off so it's flush on the table. And that's going to be the side that the sheet metal sits on anyway, so it had to come off no matter what. Alright, I got that frame welded up. Pretty happy with it. Tempted to throw it on the truck and test the fit, but I think I'll just wait till the morning. I need to head home, otherwise I'll be worthless tomorrow. It's getting kind of late here. But um, I think I gotta grind off a couple of the beads still. And then I'll be ready to throw in the truck, see how it fits. And then I'll probably take it back out and finish it up on here. But uh, yeah, another day down, a little ways closer to the finish line.
drop it. Drop it, drop it. 